Так. Ой, давай. Это вас. Это ужасно. Games. Tak. Vše po ty zmiňovosti. OK, OK. I'll give you the article in time, Warren. Mm -hmm. You know quite well that I've never been late before. Well, yes, but that was the only time. Ah, oh, yes, you're mm -hmm. right. I once fell asleep in Marion's office. Didn't mm -hmm. I mention I was with Marion? Ah, oh, well, now you know. Sorry you had to find out this way. Ha uh ha. -huh. Wait a sec, Warren. I'll put you on speakerphone. Oh. Okay, Joe. I believe you this time. I must have the article in two weeks' time. And while you're in Miami, try not to waste time looking at pretty girls in miniskirts and sexy tops. Remember, you're there to do a job. 
As if Miami was full of beautiful girls. Don't worry, I'll go there. I'll do this important interview with creepy Cardinal Gregorio. And I'll come back with a great story and the right pictures showing all his activities, whether they're secret or not. Joe, don't mm -hmm. underestimate the Cardinal. He's one of those men of God who's become more powerful than the Pope himself. He's very mm -hmm. influential and he wouldn't think twice about destroying a magazine like ours. Honestly, Joe, he's surrounded by attorneys who can't wait to... Blah, blah, blah. It's always the same old story. Okay, Mom. I'll put my jacket on when it's cold and I won't go with strangers mm -hmm. who offer me sweets unless they're wearing stiletto heels and a really sexy dress. <laughs> Come on, Warren. I've got to go and pack my suitcase, find my passport, and get something to eat. You wouldn't want your journalist to work with an empty stomach, would you? Let's talk about it tomorrow when I'm in Miami. Okay. But you'll give me a heart attack before I'm 35 if you keep on like this. Don't worry. It'll be all the chips you eat that'll cause it, not me. See you. Yes, yes, yes. Have a safe journey, Joe. Okay. Potentially my next dinner. Oh. Socials, economy, sci-fi, the true story of Sparta and elves, fairies and dwarves, a great mm -hmm. melting pot of genres. <clears throat> I know, I know, I shouldn't be eating takeaway all the time. I know, I know. I'd better not. It's my cell phone. Yeah, I'd better take it with me, just in case. It's my cell phone with an integrated low-quality digital camera. Okay. Uh. Who knows if I'll ever find the time to finish reading them. I'm sorry, man. Hmm, I don't think it's a good idea. My fabulous 45 inch LCD TV. LCD. It's expensive, but it was really worth the money. See it, boss? latest copy of the magazine I work for, The Manhattan Mirror. On the cover, Cardinal Gregorio. I'll interview him tomorrow in Miami, and it will be my next article of the month. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I admit I'm a little messy, but this means I'm an artistic person, doesn't it? <laughs> For years now, poor Greta's been trying to teach me good manners when she came to clean my house. But it seems that even her Austrian accent couldn't change me. Oh. No new messages. An old pocket watch. I always have it with me. It's my special good luck charm. A gift from Uncle Frank before his death more than 10 years ago. Okay. My helmet. It protects my handsome face from being ruined on the road. Uh. destroyer. Not even aliens could resist its power. <laughs> hmm. I believe this is the most unused fridge in the world. Mm. 
Take it with me. It's an ancient Inca statue. Or was it Mayan? I'm not sure. It's the peephole in the door. Seeds, old papers, nothing interesting. Various photographs of my voyages. View, don't you think? Don't you think? A strong armored door. Two wheels are better than four. For years now, poor Greta's been trying to teach me good manners when she... But it seems that even her Austrian accent couldn't... I'd better not. Last time I used it, I pressed a strange combination of keys, and a creepy skull that started laughing appeared on the screen. Yeah. I know, I should start practicing again. <coughs> I'd better not. Yeah. 
It's not the time to go walking around the city now. I guess it's not the time to go walking around a strong armored door. It's my passport. Oh. Hello? Hello. Am I speaking to Mr. Danter? Uh, yes. Jonathan Danter here. Mm -hmm. Who's speaking, please? Mr. Danter. This is Chief Constable Twinings of New Scotland Yard. Mm -hmm. I don't have much time to explain, but we have reason to believe you're in serious danger. I've already contacted the New York Police Department, and two police cars are about to arrive at your house to pick you up and escort you to the airport, where you're already booked on the first flight to London. Once you get to Heathrow Airport, two of my men will be waiting for you and they'll drive you straight here to my office. Just do as I say, and everything will be fine. Cat's whiskers, what the hell are you talking about? I'm on my way to Miami. Who are you anyway? Mr. Danter, there is no time to waste. Oops. As I've just told you, I'm the chief constable in charge of homicides at Scotland Yard. As this is such a serious situation, I have the authority to bring you here willingly or not. So it's in your interest to go with the officers without putting up a mm -hmm. fight. I'm sorry that I can't give you more details, but I've got other urgent problems to solve at this moment, and one of them is your safety. I suggest you cooperate with oh, us. Yeah, yeah, See yeah, you yeah. soon, Mr. Danter. This is incredible. This one time Warren sends me to a five-star hotel. The accent was English. His voice sounded really like a police officer's. Unless someone's hired a professional actor to play a trick on me over the phone, I guess I'd better pack my case and go to London. Goodbye cocktails with little umbrellas in them. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Super. <laughs> Oh. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Danter. I'm Chief Constable Twinings. Twinings. I'm sorry to make your acquaintance under such unfortunate circumstances. Sure. Mm. Let's talk about these circumstances of how you've dragged me here from the other side of the planet without even explaining why. I understand the way you're feeling, but unfortunately, we had to move quickly to guarantee your safety mm -hmm. and make sure any evidence remains undisturbed. I don't like the truth kept away from me, Chief Constable. Would you please tell me what's going on? Certainly. Two nights ago, we found the body of a man who'd been brutally murdered. Uh -huh. I'm very sorry to inform you that it was your uncle, Frank Danter. <laughs> and you brought me all the way here to tell me that? I'm sorry, Chief Constable, but you must have got the wrong person. My uncle's been dead for over ten years now. That's what they made you believe as a child. To tell the truth, 
Your uncle has been working for the Vatican Secret oh. Service for the last 10 years. Uncle Frank was a sort of papal secret agent. <laughs> Listen, if this is a new kind of reality show, I've already wasted enough of my precious time listening to all of this. This is not a joke, Mr. Danter. And yes, if you wish to put it like that, your uncle was indeed a secret agent of sorts. When he joined the small group of people, specially chosen to protect the Vatican's secrets mm -hmm. ten years ago, he decided mm -hmm. to fake his death, so that you and your family wouldn't be involved in the undercover work mm -hmm. he was performing. Unfortunately, we believe his cover was blown, and this must have put him in mortal danger. Mm -hmm. If someone managed to find your uncle, we have reason to believe you might also be in danger as you are his uh -huh. only living relative. Although the way he was killed doesn't necessarily lead to the same assassin, your uncle's death is nonetheless similar to the five other murders that have been carried out quite recently. All the victims, including your uncle, were members of the Vatican Secret Service. Uh -huh. We can't understand why, <laughs> but they made your uncle's murder look like a robbery. They only took a few coins, and we're convinced that somebody's trying to hide the real reason behind all these murders mm -hmm. of the Vatican's secret agents. Perhaps the newspapers have drawn too much attention to these murders, and the killers got scared. Seeing the way in which he killed the other victims, he doesn't seem to be the kind of person who'd be frightened by a few headlines. But tell me, if I'm in such danger, why have you brought me all the way here? And who knows I'm his nephew anyway? Do you at least know what this man wanted from my uncle and what he could want from me? Mr. Danter, I've already given you some highly classified information. Uh -huh. yeah. Please don't ask me to go any further. As far as your safety is concerned, I can only say that, although I'm well aware of the risks you're running, I also realize that you're the only person who can help us to solve this case. Chief Inspector, I'm just a journalist. And as I told you before, I only ever saw my uncle when I was a child, and that was a long time before his death. Mm -hmm. I really don't mm -hmm. see how I could be of any help to you. Two days before his death, your uncle put something in a safe deposit box at Heathrow Airport. This safe deposit box is also in your name. Uh -huh. At the moment, our inquiries are at a dead end, and I admit that I'm hoping we'll be able to open the safe deposit box uh -huh. and find some new evidence inside it. Unfortunately, before we can open the box, we have to wait for a high-ranking CIA agent to arrive. So, I'll contact you in a few hours as soon as he gets here. For now, I'll give you the keys to your uncle's house. And don't worry, as the crime scene investigators have already been there and taken all they need. They even took your uncle's laptop to check it, but didn't find anything interesting. So it's been put back again. You can stay there, but I'm afraid the water, gas and electricity have all been we cut off. I've had your luggage sent there anyway. I could have booked you a hotel, but I prefer you to check your uncle's flat before going back to New York. You'll be escorted by two bodyguards who are waiting for you outside my office. Officer Coletti will join you later at your uncle's house to sort out a few formalities. Here's my visiting card. The funeral is being held tomorrow. Please excuse me, as I have some urgent business to attend to now. Goodbye. Okay, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to go to the